Because it was a last minute decision that these three Monaville firefighters made to drive two hours to Galveston to go fishing. This was not just right place, right time. This was right people, right place, right time. Tristan Aguirre, Michael Fink, and David Berry thought a fishing trip would be a nice break from the stress of work, but that didn't last long. And we heard this loud crash. Slammed them into the rocks. And uh, their vessel was, we could see the bottom of their, their vessel. It was laying on its side on the rocks. 1.30 in the morning, pitch black outside. Swells they estimate to be between three and four feet high kept slamming the boat into the jetty, and it was taking on water fast. Three people were on board, a father, son, and grandfather. We heard an audible cry for help, call Coast Guard help. So without even thinking, Yahoo over here cuts the fishing lines. We don't even reel them in, we just cut them. The switch from three guys fishing to three firefighters ready and willing to save lives happened instantly. We got around there into the surf, assessed everything that's going on, and it's like each one of us knew what we needed to do. We worked, re we worked really well as a team. The Monaville firefighters were able to get all three men on their boat safely within about 15 minutes. Shortly after, the boat the men had been rescued from capsized. We all kind of kind of looked back and, and said, wow, that really happened. The Coast Guard showed up fairly quickly and took the three men who narrowly cheated death. These humble heroes didn't get to catch their names. If I had the chance to shake their hand one day, that's great, but uh, I'm, you know, our job is a shadow. We're, we're there when we're needed and then we're gone.